What's going on guys? So in this video, I thought I'd give you a hardware overview and first look at the brand new iPad mini. So first things first, I'll go ahead and take it 360 degrees all the way around the device so you guys can see every single aspect and every single feature. We'll start here on the front of the device. Uh, on the top there, that little uh, spec is the front facing camera. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. And then on the bottom is just the standard home button. As far as the front of the device is concerned, really not too different than what we see on the iPad, the iPhone and iPod touch. Uh, really the only difference is the bezel around the edges uh, it's a little bit smaller a little bit thinner and then on the bottom and on the top it's a little bit fatter that's really the only major difference on the front of the device I'll go ahead and uh, go all the way around here we'll start with this side the left side of the device has nothing just a nice smooth edge the right side of the device has all of your buttons here. We've got the volume up and down switch. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me see if I can put it in a little bit better focus there. And uh, we also have the switch for um, either rotation lock or sound depending on what you set it as. On the bottom here, as you can see, we have a speaker microphone and we also have the uh, new lightning connector. On the top of the device, we have the sleep wake button. We have another microphone and we also have the headphone jack. And then on the back of the device, we just have a uh, big um, shiny Apple logo, and we also have the iPad, uh, little uh, iPad text there. Uh, we have the camera up in the top left-hand corner, and then down at the bottom, just that uh, legal information. The back of the device is that, uh, on the black at least, it's that matte black aluminum feel. Basically, if you have the iPhone 5 in black, or you have the iPod Touch 5th generation in black, it looks and feels exactly the same. It'll be interesting to see if uh, this uh, iPad mini ends up scratching, or we have any um, scratching issues issues like we had on the iPhone 5. Right off the bat, looking around the device, I don't see any problems. So uh, I think Apple fixed that up and I think we're going to be okay with that. So as far as the device is concerned, uh, I have to say it does feel very nice in the palm of my hand. I don't have the biggest hands in the world. I think they're pretty average sized and I can fit this device comfortably in the palm of my hand without any worries of it slipping out um, or me not being able to hold it uh, with a firm grasp. So uh, I think it's going to be okay for a majority of people who want to hold it in one hand and not have to worry about uh, it sliding out or anything like that. Uh, it does have some weight to it. It's definitely not uh, going to fly out in the wind. It's not a light product by any means. It has some weight to it. It feels sturdy, but it's not too heavy. Uh, it feels like an Apple product should it feels very nice in your hand as far as how thin it is I'm very surprised at just how thin they made this device I'll have some more in-depth comparisons uh, when I compare the iPad fourth generation and the iPhone 5 to this device but I have to say just from feeling it for the first time it feels very nice feels very thin in your hand um, as far as the screen is concerned I know a lot of people were kind of wondering just how good the screen would look even though it's not retina display uh, it's not retina quality I have to say it does look very nice up close yes you can see the pixels but I uh, I don't really think that's an issue. I don't think a majority of people are going to find, um, you know, a lower quality screen or anything like that. It's not going to be that big of a difference. And like I said, just from looking at it for the first uh, few minutes here and uh, kind of getting up close, I really don't see that big of an issue. So I think a majority of people will still enjoy the screen. It looks great. It's big, it's bold, it's vibrant, and uh, everything looks very, very nice on it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, just quick overview of the new iPad mini. I'll have a whole bunch more comparison videos with the iPad fourth generation, the iPhone 5. Compare the hardware, compare just how thin and thick all the devices are, and you guys can see them all side by side. So look forward to that video. I'll have a whole bunch more iPad mini and iPod or iPad fourth generation videos coming up over the next few hours. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also post any comments, questions, concerns, suggestions regarding these new devices down below. Hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.